Jay, family members were on the corner of Clay Street and New York Avenue at the house visibly grieving. They tell us that right now they're in the process of setting up the funeral for 41 year old Latanya Anders. Neighbors say they never see violence in this old Midland neighborhood until last night. I don't know that nothing happened right here. It's the first time we hear like I've been living here like seven or eight years right here and nothing happened. I wasn't aware of it and it's it's sad. It's sad to hear that it's you know it's so close to home here. The Saturday night shooting that took the life of 41 year old Latanya Anders and left 52 year old Curtis Ray Stinnett seriously injured sent police on the search for the man accused of the violent crime Carl Wiley. He called me last night at 11 o'clock and asked me to go check on his wife. He said that he was a suspect in a shooting. Wilma Hayes says she's known Wiley and been friends with his wife for several months. She says the couple has had trouble in the past and a conversation last night between Hayes and Wiley's wife points to more trouble. You know, because I was half asleep anyhow and I was like, what's going on? She's really upset, understandably. You know, she doesn't, she doesn't know whether he did it or whether he didn't do it. She's tried to tell him to turn herself in. And, Police tell us that right now Stinnett is still in critical condition in the hospital and law enforcement is still on the search for Wiley in Terrell County. In the newsroom, Sarah Strackhouse, CBS 7 News.